you know, I'm just do just my to... best with my level of brain power right now. I believe in you. I'm gonna start right meow. I don't even know what to really say at this part, other than, hey, I do movement tech, unga bunga. Lots of damage boost. Heck. You can talk about the patch, some of the changes. Oh yeah, so I'm on patch 103. Because there's really neat movement tech later. I'm messing up every single damage boost. Excellent. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. damage boost. Um... How the the dodge mechanic in this game is similar to Dark Souls in that you have iframes during your dodge, or at least you're supposed to. Supposed to. <laughs> um, I've commentated this game with you before. I'm not good at winging it. I'm good at in the day of the the commentary. I believe in you. Mm -hmm. It's always hard to commentate as a speedrunner because there's so much that's like second nature to us. Yeah. That like a casual player wouldn't think of. So like talking about like the general mechanics, I think is good. I do big like dodges, Unga Bunga, to double dolphin. Hooray! It's faster movement. How precise is double dolphin? It's not as precise as we once thought. Okay. Neat. As soon as your momentum starts going down from your jump, you can double press and you're fine. Mm. There's still like a little bit of a window, but like the window is actually like way more big than we thought. I'm dying. <laughs> Which is fine because you're a professional. Wait, you don't do the hop over that anymore? Or is that not possible? It's not as in... fast. Oh, damn. Yeah. Heal oh, ledges okay. are cursed. <laughs> Heck. In the 1.0 no. patches, the first phase of that fight is consistent, right? Yep. I mean, I goofed, but fight, win, I guess. Well, that's fine. Yeah, so in, in all the 100 patches, like, the fight is super duper consistent, whereas in the 110 patches like you have to like you can still get a similar fight but you have to do a little extra work and then it's still not going to be the same fight because they buffed sigrid for some reason so she's mm. she's got less cooldown time between her moves so it's actually yeah. impossible to have the same fight as in 100s i didn't know that that was why that's neat yeah it's really silly i don't i don't know why you would buff the first boss i actually don't understand Oh heck. <clears throat> so like now that I have double jump, the movement is essentially just double jump and dive. It's called big dolphin, as opposed to this right here, which is a double dolphin, which only requires one jump. I'm in pain. He'll be fine. Oh, so this category still gets bugged early. Yep, because there's no need to come back here ever again otherwise. Neat. I'm so used to watching you do Hundo. Yeah, I wish I were doing Hundo instead. I like that run a, a lot better. If we had done that, though, we would have been going into like 4 a.m. Oh, I get, I get the logic. Just Hundo's a better category. Yeah. Hun Hundo's a better category just because of how much safer it is. Like, you get so much health that it's like, oh, no, a mistake happened. Whatever will I... And then you just win anyway. Mm. Whereas in this, it's like, oh, no, a mistake happened. I'm dead ten times. <laughs> also, you don't get ganked by fish. 
Yeah. Sorry, I have faith in you. That's a mistake. Like, essentially every route is, like, completely different for, like, every category. Like, it's really weird. Like, see all spirits and 100%, even though they're, like, you know, essentially the completionist categories of this game. They all have completely different routes. Bizarre. Like, getting fungal early in all spirits is more often than not faster. But if you get it early in hundo, it's a waste of time because you have to go back for items anyway. Two big mechanics that influence the route in this game are the fact that the major bosses have chapters and every chapter they gain more health. And um, also there are stagger, what you call it, on bosses and enemies. Oh, so stun like, meters? Yeah, the stun meter determines like which abilities are good for which bosses and whatnot. The chapter thing is something I didn't know about when I was routing 100%, so I'm surprised that the route stood as long as it did. So the core mechanics of the combat of this game is using spirits or subspirits, which you can tell if it's a spirit or a subspirit by the color. Red is a main spirit, which means that it is either your very first spirit or like a main boss. And then yellow is a sub spirit. Um, main spirits get ultimate abilities later. Uh, we don't have that right now. That's one of the abilities we unlock. Uh, just like any other Metroidvania, there's a ton of stuff you unlock as you progress. So we're combining double dolphin with spamming my abilities because that resets my momentum. No. Stay still. Stay still. Good boy. Actually a really good fight. So he's he teleports randomly, and he's actually much better to fight later than early, but he actually saves you time uh, with a couple of door tricks you could do. He can he can hit through walls and his cloud hits switches, so you can actually get past some, some doors much more quickly. Which I'm about to do that right now, actually. Do, 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 do. So that door doesn't really save that much time to do, but there's a door later that saves a significant amount of time to where it's worth it. But only for this category. Other categories, it's just not worth it. Because in C ending, which is just the true ending, you don't need to beat all the sub-spirits. And then in 100%, if you go up there early, you still have to come back later for one item that you can't reach quite yet. Are the enemies in the game always in the same place? They're supposed to be. <laughs> Their behaviors can be random, but they're supposed to be in the same place. I always do that in hopes that one day it just actually works. <laughs> Stupid 103 not having that. <laughs> So yeah, like, that's a sub-spirit, so like it's going to be a yellow spirit. But like, the bigger bosses with the actual health bars at the bottom, those are main spirits. And that's the entire purpose of this category. You're supposed to defeat every single boss and mini-boss. She's also one of the most important spirits. Yeah, her her stun damage is, is pretty significant. So we mentioned already that um, stunning is really important in this game. Um, it stops enemies from from attacking for a brief period of time, and if they're in the air, it also makes them fall. Which fall damage in this game is actually nutty, nutty, nutty good. One of the early bosses you fight, Aline, is actually like a soft tutorial on how good fall damage is. Hopefully I get the Strick first try. Game's easy. Nice. 
So that saves eight seconds. Yeah, that's a decently precise jump that skips going through the inside of that house. Which the inside of the house can fuck your shit up. <laughs> I won't say that in a marathon. <laughs> I'll be PG. But I'm right, you, you know. Don't. At least for our marathon. It'll be fine if you slip once or twice. Oh, I'll slip all right. <laughs> Into a fish. <laughs> it probably will be the fish that break me. Uh, let's just try it. Let's treat it like a GDQ. Just be professional about it. Yeah, slips are a little bit more okay than they are for GDQ, but generally. So you got to remember, my stat parents are bummers. Like, actual bummers. Like, they're 80. Almost 80. Um, yeah, so and... check out the sick elite yeet that I just did. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so, like, they might be watching. They might have family watching, so, yeah. Ah, uh, heck. Hello? Uh, um? Oh my god, that poor bird! Oh god! <laughs> Murdered! You really did not have to do him like that. <laughs> oh, I sure did. <laughs> oh, damn. It's so hard to figure out. I don't have that down yet. Yeah. So you can jump on water in this game, and uh, you can also dolphin on water, which is what he was trying to do there, but uh, yeah, it's a weird timing. This fight went horribly. Goodness. I I don't know why it didn't work, but if, if you do that start of the fight just right, you get him up in the air, and as long as you're quick on your, your ability redo, then uh, you just juggle him until he's dead. But if you don't juggle him, it's a slow fight. It's consistent, quote-unquote. You just have to not suck. Hmm. Yeah, uh, well, you see, that's impossible. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I respect the effort. Uh, so the white flowers give you health, and the red flowers give you some of your abilities back. Are you gonna jump? Fine. Whatever. Yeah, he was waiting for fall damage there. But Garrett did not want to give it to him. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do the thing. There you go. Good, Gary. At least he's being nice in phase two. Yeah, phase two is pretty hard to not get good stuff, but I did not mean to jump that high. A lot of the hitboxes in this okay. game are pretty deceptive, so spacing is really important. Knowing your hitbox sizes is really important. That's a neat way to kill him. <clears throat> One thing I gotta remember not to do, this is like less commentary and more like note to self. I don't need to be as aggressive on the fall damage because he's chapter two as in Hundo when he's chapter four and has more than double the health. Yeah, that's true. Do, 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 do. I love how the speedrun is like 
Castlevania speedruns, in the sense that you can just, like, throw out all your abilities after a boss because you're going to wipe back anyway. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so this is where getting fungal early saves a lot of time. It's actually like 20 seconds of time save. It's nutty. On on average, you should be saving time. On average. But only in this category. You lose time every other category. 100% because of the items. And C, because you don't need that spirit. So you're just doing a fight for no reason. Yeah, I mean, if it's saved more, then I can see other categories getting it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you... Oh, you suck. No. Oh, well. We can at least do this. Loop, 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 loop. Oh, you learned that? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> if I had the right loadout, then we would have gotten that early switch. It's it's a It's a tight trick normally but if you've already beaten garrett you can do this neat thing where you do his slam and jump out of it and you get a little bit of extra height hey tracks thanks for the good luck oh what the the heck's she doing up there that's a great question jokes on her huge fall damage so she gets for being a coward yep what are you kid us on yep <laughs> just taking him so yeah like you mentioned earlier this is like the big fall damage tutorial boss you see like she takes huge chunks of damage every time she falls out of a stagger So we're definitely not going to get the big drop, but like that was too good of an opportunity to do damage, so... Yeah. Unfortunately. One of the but... good things about this category is that you have Headless Defender, though, and Headless Defender is also really great for fall damage because she's going to do an attack um, where Headless Defender will knock her out of the air. That was an awkward end, but it worked. That was decent. The first phase was kind of... <coughs> like, the first it. phase, she was a coward. She's like, ah, oh, you've done <laughs> this to me all day? I've learned. I reviewed the VODs. Go immediately right, and you can't drown me with poison. I can't believe they programmed machine learning bosses. God. Gross. Unbelievable. The tech in the game's cool, yeah. It's just the game was really mean to me earlier. Like, the movement's funny looking, but it's fun. Like, nothing beats a little girl diving and face planting over and over, TBH. <laughs> hey, you kind of see what I mean, babe? Like, did you see how high I was? Like, I can get the double super high. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, it's actually, like, a much bigger window than we initially thought. It's literally as soon as you have, like, decent falling momentum, you can double press. Accidentally ledge. <laughs> so this relic right here is one of the oh, best okay. in the game. It's even better on the newer patches. But this is going to increase our damage. Ah, I did it early. Boo. So if you, if you be... break a pot... 
um, like right on top of it, you can grab the item before it falls out and it saves a little bit of time. This is going to be in the block before Hollow Knight, so if you're familiar with that game at all, we have um, charm notches in that game. The Chains of Sorcery are kind of like that. They allow you to equip like another equipable item. The most important relic in the next five minutes has just been picked up. <laughs> and then I hate it from there on. Why did they make it neutral dash? I don't <laughs> I know. I hate that I can't neutral dash when I have Freddy's ring. Oh my god, where's my double jump? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, can what you is happening? die? You know... Dying is slow. It really is, though. So we're about to do a small sequence break. Small sequence break skips an entire section. Yeah, small. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not the Aline skip, so you know. Yeah, it's actually really easy to pull off. But it does skip, like, basically the entirety of this area. We're basically at the final boss right now, but we're going to take a quick detour and go grab a couple of other things. Or is it just one other thing? Is it just the, uh... It's just the Ancient Souls. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's the word. I thought it was in the next turn. See, I'm still, like, Hondo brain. Yeah, same. Same. Like, <laughs> doing all spirits is really weird, because I'll sometimes accidentally pick up an item that I don't need. Please walk forward. Thank you. If that spider doesn't walk forward, it just, like guards that slam. So there is a route where you skip this, but I don't like it. <laughs> Understandable. One of the things that getting this upgrade for your, your sword does is, so it gives you a damage increase, but more importantly, it gives you an extra swing in your attack, uh, which makes the, the boss kill that we're gonna do here a lot easier to pull off. Well, also like the way that you juggle with, um, with level one compared to level three, you actually need to do three slashes to maintain, whereas you only need two for this. So it makes it a lot easier. And it also takes a lot less resources overall. <laughs> like Umbrella at level 1 can't maintain this juggle. Whereas Umbral at level 2 can maintain it, uh, level 3 rather, can maintain it by itself, but you also use Sigrid to do a little extra damage. Headless so nice. Yeah, Headless also knocked Silva out of her alt attack. Well, that position is really bad, though. <laughs> yeah. We that's didn't really okay. mention it for Sigrid, but Sigrid was also kind of in a bad spot. Uh, there's a couple of bosses that we have to leave the arena, and we want them on the side that we need to leave. And and this is not it. Not. Yeah, that is that is the opposite of their correct side, actually. But the good news is now we get to see why you do patch 103. This right here, you cannot do it in other patches. You get your dash back so much quicker, and you also maintain a decent amount of the iframes. 
Yeah, left Silva. So rude. We also unlocked the last rights, which is the ultimate ability. Um, that meter to the bottom left is now starting to fill. Um, when it's filled, your main spirits get to do a neat little bonus attack. Okay. It's neat when it lands. Okay, sir. What? How did that miss? Sir. Yeah, this fight is the first one that we get to see the alt abilities, because we got that from Silva. Silva gave us two abilities. Silva and Julius are the only ones that give you two. Everyone else gives you one. I don't understand why Julius is considered two, though. Like. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I didn't know until Rando that it's actually separate. I remember it first. Archer is busted in the 100 patches. So these patches. Yeah, it has a completely different, um, completely different flight pattern for the projectiles, and it also spawns behind you initially. So if you're booty blasting someone, you can wreck them with all the arrows. Okay, not the loadout I thought uh -huh. I had. <laughs> I, was trying okay. to, I was trying to build some <laughs> juice, but that's okay. <laughs> so, in the any percent A ending, the fastest category, you actually bum rush this area because this is where you activate ending A. And also in 100%, you come here early. Combination of executioner gloves are really, really good. But uh, the biggest consequence is you get hook shot early which in Hundo actually saves you a crap ton of time. I'm going to be super safe. That's not supposed to hit me normally. Yeah, you probably just weren't focused because you were thinking about archer arrows being OP. That's fine. Understandable. Yeah, let's go with that. I can tell you without memeing that that wasn't my fault. Like, actually. <laughs> Sometimes these hitboxes are a little bit jank. So we're going to take the safety bench to get my heals back because this is not the area I want one heal. This this area is dangerous no matter what category. Yeah, I'll, there's a lot of enemies and a lot of them do a ton of damage. Yeah, Spooky Elevator got me killed earlier. <clears throat> so pots can sometimes give you small bits of health. Um, a red thing that gives you like two or so extra spirits. Um, and also some Blight, which we haven't really mentioned Blight. But um, Blight, also Ancient Souls, because that's basically just special Blight, is how you upgrade your spirits and abilities so they can become stronger or get more projectiles or you can use them more before a cooldown so on and so forth <clears throat> okay hopefully the elevator isn't an ass oh. Start. oh my god yeah so these guys can ride the elevator with you and they are not very cool. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's, that's the backup for that. <laughs> you can make them just jump into the water, because they teleport to wherever you are, and they don't they don't really have a check to see if they're above water. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, that guy can just insta-spawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't know what to do. I'm in trouble. Wait, um, do you get extra key yes. gloves in this? Oh. I do. Oh. No! Oh my god. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do anymore. Um, um, there's a bench directly above. Yeah, but I need to yeah. make it. I Yeah, okay. It, we got super hacked. Yeah, safety bench is, I think, your only play right now. 
This room is... Both of those rooms are terrible. Actually terrible. Oh, we're losing a ton of time. We, we might as well have died at that point, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I'll backtrack for Executioner Gloves after this. Okay. Makes more sense movement-wise. Oh, are you gonna you gonna go get the bench for the boss? Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> These enemies. Oh, so we don't get the other... Nah, it's not okay. worth. Gotcha. Yeah, so you just have to enter the room with a bench in order to be able to warp to it later. What? What is Sir? going on? Bad run is bad right now. Actually cursed enemies. We just need to survive this section and then survive for Botan. And everything will be fine. There is a damage boost you can do there, which is part of why health was so important. Got it first try. That was good. And Executioner Gloves, if you're familiar with Dark Souls runs, is basically like Lloyd's Ring. Uh, if you're at full health, you do more damage. Uh, do you know how much more damage? Uh, I mean, Trex is in here. Trex could probably say. Hey, Trex. <laughs> How much? <laughs> How much increase? Would you stop? Actually worse, boss. I got full damage off of that one at least. Kainer himself isn't a terrible boss, but the fact that he spawns so much stuff and he won't stop jumping makes him one of the worst bosses in the run. Also, this patch has worse um, enemies in the fight, doesn't it? Than worse projectiles and worse enemies. Yeah, they nerfed Tainir after this specific patch, um, but because the movement tech is so good, it's worth it to just run on this patch anyway. Ah, that was really late. That was a juicy Aline. Have we talked about Aline's ult? But I got the tracking? We have not. Aline's ult was nerfed on the the 110 patches. Honestly, for probably good reason, but like I'm I'm kind of personally upset about it. She was the best ultimate. She does a ton of damage, and we're going to use her for basically every major boss. Yup, yup. Yup, yup. And so PB's probably still possible, actually, which is sad to say, but... Silva Garrid. Silva Garrid. No, I do not have a consistent way to get the homing. I can tell when I get it, though. So what's neat about Silva is Silva basically counts as another jump. Um, you can hold the attack to get an extra jump, or you can just mash it. 
Sometimes it's sometimes you need the extra height from charging it because the charge will give you a higher boost, but sometimes it's just faster to mash it like I just did there. Yeah. We didn't really talk about that yet either too. Um in this game, it's not just movement abilities that can act as movement abilities, but some of your weapons like Silva uh can give you extra verticality or distance. Ah, oh, heck. Thought I had the Ooh, thing. That isn't... That isn't what you wanted to do. Nope. That's what I wanted to do. Nice. I have recently discovered that because of Executioner Gloves, you need one and a half ults to kill that thing. <laughs> nice. Oh, heck. Would you? Oh, he hello, ledge grab? This is why I don't like games that have a ledge grab, and I'm terrified for Silk Song. Because Hollow Knight did not have a ledge grab, and I played Ender Lilies, and I played Metroid Dread, and ledge grabs are fake news. That's pretty much just a safety bench because everything went wrong, otherwise, I'd skip it. I'm going to be trying to build up my uh, last rights meter. Okay. I'm going to try and be building up my last rights meter because uh, if you notice, I equipped Garrett. I actually hate Garrett, but Garrett's actually really good for a couple of skips. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. His alt isn't good for combat, but his alt is excellent for skips. This one gargoyle is fucking hellbent. <laughs> Good Out God! Out for blood. <laughs> okay. Is this where we do hook skip? Yep. All right. So this is a neat glitch. Um, where? Oh, you get this too. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, we're basically going to store a hook interaction. Uh, off screen and then be able to maintain it. Can you? Ledge grab, please. Yeah, so we're way out of range and we're also doing it through the wall. Yeah. And the distance you are from a grapple grappleable object. Um, how do I English that? Like, you basically get more distance the farther you are from it. So you can use it to just go all the way off the top of the screen into the next room above. At this point in time, this is all just safety bench, because like I'm just so goddamn tired of dying. Just, yeah, just live. I believe in you. We need to do another Garrod skip, so we gotta build up our ult again here. That didn't go nearly as well miss? as it should have. Um? Can I get build up, please? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, video game. This is. I've, I've never seen this this bad. I'm telling you, today's been really fucking weird. Like, I'm seeing things yeah. I've never seen before. Another neat thing about Garrett is that he does an absurd amount... Fuck? Heck. He does an absurd amount of the stagger meter. So you can just eat enemies with the hammer. And they die from fall damage because his hammer would never kill them because he is a bad spirit. Yeah, he is. So right here, he's just skipping. Oh, the come on! Oh, mm -hmm. Heck. Not safe anymore. Yeah. Yeah, 
You're good now. Uh, you just need to make it up to that gate and it'll open. You don't have to ride the entire elevator. Um, so he was trying to skip up there. I gotta play stupid safe now because we took so much damage. Yeah, we're like one room away from a bench, so... Alright, we're good. That might have been one of the shittiest things I've seen in a while. Oh, okay. Just upgrading some spirits there. So they'll do a little bit more damage. being mean. He's stationary, idiot. Yeah, Ulf likes to hop around a lot, so we kind of want to wait until he's in the middle of his staggers to hit him with the Elene ult. Because otherwise we might end up missing. And wasting Elene is not good. Damage. <laughs> the babyest fall damage. That's why I laughed. It was like 20 or something. Like, oh no, my toe. You sure showed me. Oh. The music is very good. I have determined that more often than not, on average, this is actually worth the time loss. Oh, um, the ring? Yep. Ricker's ring? Uh, neat. Ricker's ring is a, um, equipable item that is gonna give us one more of our last rights meter. So we'll be able to do two alts instead of just one. So we no longer use giants, right? Yep. The the sheer amount of damage you get to do by having two Aline ults is really, really just the reason why. Yeah, that makes sense. And we get to see all here. He's another um, movement attack where we get a little bit more horizontal distance by using his charge attack. Although his charge attack is very good for combat purposes. Sure is. Oh, oh I didn't know you... <laughs> hack. That was the wrong one. I didn't want that one. I didn't know you actually use ult uh, for combat. You do in two fights. You use it in that one because you have it anyway, and you would normally just Sigrid regardless, and his charge is decent, and then you use it on the dog. Oh, yeah. Because dog just sits there like yeah, a sad boy. Oh, so sad. Like, you actually upgrade Ulf, too, just for the dog. <laughs> So 
when do we fight the bird in this route? Uh, very late. Oh, okay. Essentially cleanup phase. Yeah, I was thinking that you, you would do it here, but I didn't see it in the notes. Yeah, that's that's really good having that second ult ready because I remember yeah, yeah. you had to farm a little bit more before mm -hmm. the second ult. Yeah. Yeah, it ends up being worth it, especially on the final boss. I think you actually save like 15 seconds, dude. Jeez. And also less likely to die because you have more iframes because you're ulting. That's another thing we yeah. I don't think we mentioned yet. Like when you use a last rights, like when you use an ultimate, like you have iframes while it lasts. And iframes in this game are few and far between, so having some available is really nice. Yeah, there is not really iframes in the game outside of, like, grabbing ledges or using an ult. Like, you can just chain die to an enemy. Or pop. Yeah, that was a boss, by the way. It doesn't attack you, because story-wise, <laughs> it's it's sane enough to where it doesn't want to fight you, and it's begging you to put it out of its misery. I believe it's one of the last things that actually gets infected. Yeah. It's also a fucking garbage, garbage spirit to use. <laughs> we no longer get crown, unfortunately, but our setup is too good. Okay, that's... I mean, if you're getting Rickers Ring, you probably don't need Crown. Crown is another... Uh, it was the thing on the end of that poll. It is uh, another equipable item, and it gives you... God, I'm not good at wording things right now. Um, More stun damage. Decreases the stun, mo uh, stun meter faster. So bosses stagger more often. Pretty good in Hundo, though. Crown and exec Executioner Gloves are the two things that I was really hyping up whenever I was routing 100%. People weren't using them yet. And I was like, but look how good! Underrated in 2021. I picked this up for safety now. That's fair. Getting a little bit of extra health for this route, like, we don't need it, but getting it um, to survive Verboten and the final mom fight is really good. Because if you don't get any health upgrades, the enemies in those areas can just one-shot you. You see why two ults is good though? <laughs> like, yeah. It's that so was worth really it. Fast. It's so worth it. Like when I timed it, I was like, why like it makes sense, but like why didn't I time it sooner? Yeah, that's definitely worth it in this category. We do not, no. It ends up not being part of our final loadout against mom like in other categories. I love that movement. Yeah. Pink. All right. Good luck, baby. Thank you. Julius is probably one of the more annoying bosses in the run. Oh my god. Hel um, hello? Ash, hello? And he wants to stay at full health because of execution of gloves. You do saw that on, right? Yep. Okay, yeah. And That's... he's gonna try to do the thing that he did with Kanir, where he's gonna try to make it track. And 
that way all of the Elene orbs are going to be absorbed into him and do as much damage as possible. Nice, got it. And since he has tracking, he can just kind of go for Aline's whenever convenient. That got so much worse than it needed to. <laughs> yeah, you had to make it scary at the end. For some I sure exercise. did. Yeah. But the content. The content. Okay, Aline Sigrid. Aline Sigrid. Script. Archer. So I move Sigrid and Archer around there because um, having Archer and Floral on the same thing is actually really good, but we're about to get into a sequence of fights here where, um, uh, what was I trying to say, um, where I'm valuing overall damage instead of stun, and then also when we get underwater, um, there are two spirits I can use underwater. Yeah, there are certain spirits that are either aquatic or not aquatic. So that ends up mattering for that one specific stupid boss. Also, there's certain sections where I'll use Julius's dash for movement and where I'll go with like the traditional like shuffling around because in some cases it's faster. Kind of silly. Now we beat up Bird. Finally. Heck that Bird. Heck that Bird. Actually one of the hardest bosses in Rando. <laughs> oh heck. And then Aegis with the with the BM at the end. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I see why you fight Bird last. Yeah. That it, was a boss, by the way. It sure melts. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of just doing like a boss rush here. Like we still have a decent amount to go, but like this is just as good of opportunity as any. Yeah. It makes sense to wait here, because the spirits that you have are so high level. For this particular one, we needed to have Julius' ability. So there's two abilities that Julius gave us. Um, we can dash with him, but also he can break those walls. And of course, we're behind right now because we had that awful, 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 awful Executioner Glove segment. Dark Execution is actually one of those bosses I've considered... 
Okay. Um, that I've considered putting off. Uh, you know what? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're... Um... It, it took me to the wrong bench, but... Yeah, you got an extra bench this time. So I guess that messed up your menu. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, since I'm here, I might as well do this first. Yeah. Get the verboten bench. This section is so nice if you do it cleanly. Yeah. That's another really important equipable item that we're going to absolutely need. Um, that one reduces the amount of damage we take from fog and poison water. And this area is full of it. So... Now for emphasis, this is where we were supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I imagine healing around these guys is not great. Um, sure. Anime. <laughs> So I'm not actually two minutes behind. I'm probably more like a minute, <laughs> but. Oh, you have split sound? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I can't see your actual stream because I have this up. see your face this way, too. Hey! I love your face. What? Yeah. Weird. Uh... I don't know what part of that I was hanging on to, but sure. So, these guys hurt. This place is not designed for us to be here with this little health. So, if I take a hit, I am probably almost, if not dead. What the fuck? <laughs> that thing took so long to fall. Well, you know... Oh. That sucks. This is... Like, you don't want to take damage already. Like, this kind of stinks. Yeah. Okay. Help. I'm taking the safety bench then. That was ridiculous. Yeah, that's fine. Get your health back. Get your heals it's back. It's slow, unfortunately, but... One um. of the things that really sucks about this area... Wait, hold on. I had a thought and then I lost it. I mean, the area sucks, but that's not the point that I was about to make. <laughs> it's still a good point, though. Yeah, no, the area's ass. It's just ass. Getting hit suddenly by an enemy can just wombo combo you into dying because you're constantly taking tick damage from the fog, even with the mask. That's not the point I was going to make still, but also awful. Yes. Those enemies will kill you in one hit, right? The tentacle yep. monsters, yeah. Those are really dangerous, so he has to be super careful in how he navigates these rooms. Good. Luckily, their hitbox is a lot smaller than it visually looks. So you can just jump over them like that. I thought I wasn't going to make that for a second. It looked fine to me. A little sketchy, but... So this is, oh, that's what I was going to say. One of the things that really sucks about this area is that everything is red. 
so it's very hard to see even if you don't have like a color deficiency or color blindness blindness problem they did improve that on uh the later patches but since we have to run on this patch for several reasons it's something that runners just kind of have to deal with This particular boss is notorious for being terrible for colorblindness. But two Aline alts for it is really nice. That's another reason, by the way, that I'm all <laughs> for Rickerous Ring. Yeah. So, not to put pressure on myself, but because we didn't die in that, we're actually on record pace right now. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Yeah, so that means it runs dead. Wait, so what are we going down here for? It's faster. Really? Yeah. Huh. The room above is huge. Whereas yeah, this one I is... guess I never realized. I believe you, it's just, wow. I would have never thought. Because this movement is just like... I, I didn't even think to time this myself. a lot of platforming, but I guess it, it is like less distance overall. <laughs> Stupid yeah. 103. So in 106, <laughs> they made it so you could like do this and deload the elevator, but in 103, it does not... It's one of the few things that 103 is not better for. Big mucho bummer. Yeah. Alright, I don't need to do this, but my spirit count is a little lower than I want it to be, so. May as well be safe. And this is the final, not final boss, right? Yep. Yeah. I hate that. That explosion can um, go to your health. So can that. Yeah, All right. That did so much damage. All right, that's it. Hey, look, tracking. <laughs> <laughs> No, you, you can't access Shuri, you can, without unlock. So you have to do Muriel. Yeah, that's the only boss left behind a door. Like, this is, this, is not, this is not by design. This is because I don't have a choice. <laughs> Though I have considered doing my boss rush now instead of later, but... I mean, you're not getting any other upgrades, so... Yeah. Unless the loadout menuing is better, then I don't see why you would. Okay, these one-shot me. Yeah, this is the final area of the game, so they expect you to have way, way more health than we currently have. Well... It works, I guess. Yeah, you're alive. It's fine. We're about to warp somewhere anyway, so. As long as we live, everything is good. <laughs> oh, that one fireball almost gave me a heart attack. Yikes. Stupid game. Like, see, like, so Faden is actually better for this boss than Aline because of the inherent stun that you get from it. 
So that's why I've considered, like, there, there's a couple of other bosses like that, too. So I've considered maybe delaying some stuff to now, but ideally you don't need to do that. Um? Does tracking persist? Mm, don't know. I don't think so, but I'm not sure. Mm. No, it doesn't. Apparently. Excellent. Thanks for testing. I learned so much. Well... Worm because E just doesn't reach unless it's max level. So I might as well oh, put something yeah. useful. So mom's vulnerable spot. Yeah, this is our mom, by the way. Um, is the crest on her chest. So we can just shove a ton of lean alts in there and do a lot of damage very quickly. Okay. Oh. Me turning around or. Wasn't trying to. That's record. GG. Good job, baby. <laughs> We're healing all the struggle today. This was a bad run, too. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. You know what? There you go. New All Spirits record. <laughs> Proud of you. All you have to do is have me on your stream. Yeah, you're my good luck. <laughs> oh, my God. If we didn't have that, this could have been a 104 if we didn't have that uh, executioner glove thing. But, uh, you know, that's fine. What a right, good way just, to end the stream. Hooray! Let's <laughs> get a 104 tomorrow. Oh, easy. yeah, easy.